Yes, Steve Butter Fan TV with Big Steve. Steve, a long day and another disappointing result to come home to. It's kind of beyond a joke now, isn't it, really? Um, fair enough, we won last week. Now, I, I, was, I was buzzing after I came out last week. I thought, you know, you know get in. We finally got three points on the board, you know, we needed that. Especially against a team round us. But that today was a fucking joke. Absolute joke. Not one of them players can walk off that pitch with their head held high. Not one of them. I mean, the first goal, what are Gibraltar Ayala doing? Have they not been introduced since two years ago? And the second one, don't even get me started, Housen does the dirty work and then Ayala takes him out. And they dance around, think they're doing strictly on a Saturday night. Nah, fuck off, nah. Nah, it's not good enough anymore. Someone needs to stand up and say, right, what's going on? But nothing's happening. No one seems reluctant to stand up and say, this needs sorting now. Because it's not fair on us. It's not fair anymore. There was, didn't seem to be any leadership or anyone to get a grip. Ledbetter lost his rag because he lost the ball for the first goal. But it's not getting passed through the team, Steve. Yeah, well, well, he lost the ball. So because, I mean, Christy was stood on the sideline for 30 seconds trying to give the ball to someone from a throw-in. And he thought, well, for fuck's sake, just give me the ball. I'll get rid of it. And then he, 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 he made the right balls up. And he's, he, he was fair enough. He said straight away, my fault of that. But after that, you've got Gibson flying out. You've got Ayala 10 yards away flipping his arms like that. What's he doing? He's off the fucking strike in front of him. Why is he looking to say he's offside? He's an absolute liability. He's been doing it all fucking season. It's not on anymore. Why can't we give Shotton a go? What's Shotton done that's wrong that's really bad to get him out of this team? Fry. What happened to Fry? Very if he had that bad game against Norwich, but what happened after that? Nothing. I felt last week with the Ipswich game, he put an experienced side out. He's put the same side out again today, Steve, and it's gone even further backwards. Which, I, I, I can't even explain that, because last week we looked we looked solid. Not spectacular, but solid. Fair enough, Ipswich didn't really give us much troubles, did they, last week? Let's face it, you know, they weren't the best, they weren't the best side we've ever played. But... We look solid, we, we looked we looked confident again, and then to go from that to what I've just watched, no, nah, no, nah, something something needs to be done. Someone needs to sit these bastards down and say, oh, come on, what's the problem? Because there's something that's a problem. Gary Monk stood on the sideline with his hands in his pockets, and then when he starts waving his hands around, they all just look at him and think, I'm not fucking listening to you, I'm not bothered about you. Something's not right in that dressing room, and we need, all need to find out what it is and sort it. This time last year, Steve, Millwall, a first division team, we were a premiership team. And we've been down there, and what was the best team you've seen today, mate? Them. They were spot on today. They, I mean, fair enough, first ten minutes I thought, we've got a handle on this, you know. We we sorted our shape out, we went forward confidently. But then as soon as they lumped that ball in and got a bit physical with us, it's like our backbone went. Steve Morrison totally bossed us. Yeah. Gib- Gibbo couldn't handle him. The only time he lost a 50-50 is when Adama Triori just bounced him straight on the floor and went, get up. You know, that, that, that's that's what Gibbo should be doing, that's what Ayala should be doing, that is their job. It's their job to marshal him. Him and Lee Gregory had their lives all day long. It's It, it, it was beyond a joke, they knew what was coming. Last week, Steve Bruce said, because Mil- uh, Village were with Millwall last week, and Steve Bruce said it's the most physical side I've seen us play. Why didn't Gary Monk look at that and think, right, that's what we're going up against next week. Intimidating atmosphere, they say you were there, they say it was really intimidating at times. I mean, they only sing the same bastard song every time, but you know it's still it's still loud. It gets round, and it's, it's 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 closed in. It's it's on top of you. Why weren't we prepared for that? Why? What's it? I'm sick of the excuses. It's it's not fair anymore on the city fans. Fifteen hundred fans went out in London today. Absolute credit to a lot of them. Yeah. Do we get excited still, stay or do we have to actually accept now that it's not going to even be the playoffs? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll never give in. I'll never give in. I say I'm, I'm one of them people. Until it's mathematically impossible, and then I'll, I'll say fair enough. You know, we've we've given it a good go. Well, we haven't given it a good go. Let's face it. But we've given it a go, and we can't get there. But still, we're five points off the playoffs. I know it's not looking good. And to be fair, I can't see where the next win's coming from. But you still got to go one game at a time. Anybody that knows me will say I always say it one game at a time. Don't get too excited about what's coming up in January and February. You know. The fact we've got, you know, Sunderland away, Leeds at home, all them games, you know, the exciting games coming up. I don't care about them. For me, next target, Chef Wednesday next week. That's what we've got to hit and that's what we've got to, that's what we've got to go for. Three points, no more. Steve, t- thanks for appearing on Borough Fan TV.